Don Quixote. The original title of his novel is Don Quixote, La Mancha. Arabs used to wrongfully call him Don Quixote. The novel was written by the Spanish author Miguel de Cervantes Saavedra and consists of two volumes. The first volume was published in 1605, whereas the second volume was published in 1615. Following the success of the first one, Don Quixote is considered by critics as the most influential work of literature and the number one European novel. The story of Don Quixote is that of an individual who lives in the past through his words and tools and refuses to live according to the modern lifestyle or understand its changes. He also refuses transformations and does not recognize them. Therefore, he enters into battles whose reasons are found only in his mind and fights windmills. For this reason, his laugh is full of humorous and ridiculous ironies. The events of this novel are centered on a retired country gentleman named Alonso Quijano, who decides to leave his house and become a gallant knight. He dons an old suit of armor and a worn helmet. He rides an exhausted horse named Rocinante and convinces a simple farmer named Sancho Panza to become his companion and carry his weapons for him on his quests to fight oppression around the world. The funny irony here is that the knight size is half that of his giant assistant who rides a donkey while Don Quixote rides a horse. In the novel, Don Quixote represents a human model with a high moral character, a dreamy and adventurous personality that is rational in its decisions and confrontation methods. When Don Quixote fights the windmills, he pictures their sails as the arms of the devils and attacks them with his spear. His assistant, Sancho Panza, warns him, but Don Quixote never listens. His lance gets caught in the wind sail, throwing him in Roquinante to the ground. In another event, Don Quixote attacks and fights a large group of enemies. His friend shouts, trying to dissuade his master, but all in vain. The battle was actually with a herd of sheep that Don Quixote mistook for an army. At the end of the battle, Don Quixote had killed a number of sheep. As a result, shepherds attacked him by throwing stones on him. They broke his jaw and teeth, and later on, Don Quixote attacked small houses, thinking they were military castles. He also attacks priests in a funeral. This is just some of the many acts of heroism that ended up by having Don Quixote tied up with ropes by his neighbors who take him back to his village. In the second volume, Don Quixote continues waging his imaginary battles and promises Sancho Panza that he would appoint him as the ruler of an island after he wins the battle. At the end of the novel, Don Quixote declares he is recovered from his madness and dies among his family and neighbors who cry upon his death out of compassion and grief.